All right, guys, I had some requests. Some people wanted to see the dogs again. So I just got him back from a walk. Quite a long walk, too, so he's pretty tired. But uh, just wanted you guys to see he has gotten bigger since the last time I've recorded him. He just, I don't know, he's just blowing up. But uh, he's, a, he's a healthy boy and uh, still not feeding him any scraps. You know, occasionally, like maybe on their birthday or at Christmas time, uh, I'll give them, Jade likes kettle corn, and he likes the Twizzlers pull and peel, the soft ones. I'll give him pieces of those for treats, uh, maybe twice a year. And very scarcely, every once in a while, I might give them a bite of something, but it's very scarce. They don't beg. You can, you can come in and you can eat right in front of these dogs. You can eat a steak dinner right in front of them, and they won't even look twice at you. You know, they just don't, they don't even know what it is. They just don't beg like that. So, they're pretty good with that. But, yeah, he eats, what they eat is all natural wellness food, is what it's called, wellness. And if you look on the ingredients of your dog food bags, and basically wellness is one that has no fillers in it. You, the, the less fillers, the better uh, for your dog. So feed these guys wellness, dry dog food. Uh, I think the top ingredient is chicken breast. And I think it has peas, but there's no, no corn, no filler. So, Hi, buddy. Go ahead. A lot of times when you talk to him, he'll lick his lips. I don't know why, but... Hi, Gore. Hi, buddy. Hey. Hey, you. <laughs> For some reason, he'll lick his lips, man, when you, when you talk to him. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Hi, Gore. Hi, Gore. <laughs> Hi, Gore. Hi, buddy. Lick your lips. Lick your lips. Lick your lips. Lick your lips. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> He's so awesome. He is so cool. These dogs are like the best, the best pets you could have, man. I'm, I'm thoroughly convinced of that. They're loyal. Uh, they're very caring. Very good with children. Just all the way down the line. Good uh, guard dogs for the house. Yeah, I just love them. Bye, buddy. Hi, Jay. As you can see, how big his head is compared to mine. <laughs> He's a big boy. Look at these paws. Can I get it on camera there? Look at this paw. Look how big his paw is. Takes up the whole palm of my hand there. <laughs> he thinks I'm playing with him. See, so he's right now. He's nibbling on my thumbnail. Hey. <laughs> so you can touch their ears. He's, you know, touch their feet like I just showed. He don't care. See, I got his ear. Got his ear. I got to get him back on a scale because I have no idea what he weighs now. And... I think I might be surprised. <laughs> He's so wide across his back where his shoulders are right now, so. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. You a good boy, Gord? Lick your lips. Lick your lips. You good boy? You good boy? <laughs> good boy. Boy. 
Come on, stand up. Come on, get up. See if I can get him to stand up for you guys so you can see him a little bit better here by me, so you can see the size of this monster. It's kind of like owning a bear. <laughs> his, his paws are so big and his head is so big. Big barrel chest on the guy. Okay, sit back down now. Here, sit down. Lay back down. Go away. When he puts that paw over you, you know it. Big bear paw. Just showing you guys how tame they are. You know, they're not apt to try to bite somebody, or even if you put your finger right in their mouth, you know, he's not going to bite you. Now, as far as a guard dog, when it's nighttime, yes. He's, he, you wouldn't, you probably wouldn't think it was him if I had a film, if somebody knocked on the door in the middle of the night, and you've seen what he acted like, but that's good. That's, he's territorial. You know, he, he knows this is his house, and he's going to protect it. Boop. Boop. <laughs> he's like, hey, what are you doing? I do have them some new stuff coming in the mail. Don't want to say keywords like T R E A T, but I have ordered them some moose antlers. These are supposed to be the toughest of the tough. I got them a jumbo moose antler, um, and then I got a medium moose antler for Jade, and I got a uh, a large elk antler. Those are tougher than it. The deer are the easiest for the dogs to chew down. Um, the elk are tougher, but Goro's one I got them not too long ago was almost gone. It didn't last me as long as I thought it would. They say the moose is the toughest for the dogs to wear down. So we'll see on that. I'll probably do an unboxing when that stuff comes. And they also got a 25 pack of bully sticks. Um, if you want to know what bully sticks are, look them up on the internet. But uh, they like the bully sticks. They're right, Biggie. I call him Biggie. That's his nickname. I don't know. Just about after, after he's about a year and a half old, I'd be walking him. I'd just kind of say, "Come on, Biggie." So I gave him that nickname, and he not only comes to his name, Goro. But if you say, come on, Biggie, like in the house or something, Biggie, see, he he goes by that as well. So, very smart dogs, man. Very smart. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. <laughs> come here, boy. Yeah. Get up, come on. Oh, and here comes my JD. It's my JD girl. Got both pups in there now. You can see how small she looks compared to him, and she is 55 pounds. So that ought to give you some kind of an idea of just, you know, the difference in the sizes of these two, right, babe? Easy. Sweet dogs. Just so glad I got them. What you doing, JD?
man, it's hard for me to get him to sit like this for a long time. Not her so much as him, but like I said, I just had him on a very long walk, and he's tired out. So it's good for him, you know, take him on a long couple-mile walk like that. It might not have been two miles, maybe a mile and a half, but yeah, it's good for him. I was going to make this a real short video, but I had so much request to see the dogs that, hey, I figured, you know, if you <laughs> if the video gets boring, you can turn it off. If you like looking at the dogs, you might want to watch it. Yeah, right, you rule. <laughs> yeah, right, sweetie. Okay, Goro, we're going to wrap this one up, guys. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed seeing them. I love having films up of these guys so I can always look back, you know, something to remember them by later on in life. If you have a dog, even, even if you don't want to, you know, make a bunch of gun videos or a bunch of videos in general or post videos like I do, get some videos of your kids and your dogs and things, and, you know, you'll have that later on in life to look back on. You know, there's, there's a lot of pets and things I wish I had on video from years ago that I could go and see. And, uh, you know, it would really be a good thing eventually down the line. <laughs> Look at this guy. Unbelievable, man. He is just huge. Look at, I just, people just stop me on the street. They literally stop their car in the middle of the road and, and want to ask me questions about Goro when I walk him. It's unbelievable. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. This is H4T, Jaden Goro, and we are out.